Today I'm going to be explaining how this TRX4 remote works. So first, you have this little switch thing over here. If the top part is much more than the bottom part, so if basically if it's like this, hold on, focus please. If it's like this, then that means that it's high range is enabled. Then if it's like this, it means that there's low range enabled. You mostly use high range for just free, freely driving around and all that stuff. And you, then you use low range for like crawling and all that stuff as well. So the, next you have these strange knobs over here. This one even says steering trim, but yeah, it says steering trim. There we go. That's all you need to know about that one. You can adjust it left and right, all that stuff, what you need. Get your alignment correct. This one says multifunction, so if you're using, so if there's like a, a underage user or something like that, you can make it less power to the motor. So yeah, this is basically just power control. This neutral one here and all that, that stuff over there, 50-50 means that you have 50% range for this throttle and 50% range for reverse. Then if you flick it to 70-30, you have 70% for throttle and 30% for reverse. I normally don't use that because it's just it's not enough room for reverse. And the button where it says set, that is if you like at a, if you at a speed and then you push that button, that's basically cruise control. It stays at that speed until you push forward on the remote like that. Okay, that just went forward. There you go. And then here's a menu button. I haven't figured that one out yet. But I'll figure it out soon. Here's the steering wheel, as you guys probably all know that. Yeah, steering wheel, steers and all that stuff. On button, handle, and that's where you can get your link enabled by the application. So yeah. Oh, I forgot about this thing. This is the diff lock switch. So for the diff lock switch, it you like. So right now in this position, it means that none of the diffs are locked. So if I were to tip my car on the side like this then these bottom wheels should not spin, if I'm correct. Yeah. As you see, only the top wheels spin, because the diffs are all unlocked. Then if I were to push it forward one, into that kind of middle position, then the front wheels, the front wheels would be spinning together, but the back wheels aren't, because the front wheel diff is locked, but the back one isn't, it's still unlocked. Then if I change this thing here to more forward, like this position, that means that all the drifts are locked, so they all move together. See? This one is locked, as well as that one. So yeah, put it back into this normal one. This is where I just driving around and all that stuff, it makes your cornering a whole lot better. And if you put it up like this one, I haven't really found a difference in the cornering and all that stuff as well. So, then if you put in this one, just corners a whole lot worse. Because all the wheels are spinning at the same speed. So this mode is basically for when you're crawling over different obstacles and everything. Because then all your wheels spin at the same speed. So yeah, that's, that's basically that one. This one, also I find no really big reason for it. So yeah, try to figure that out on your own. And this one's just driving around normally. So yeah, that's how the remote works. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Don't click off yet. I'm explain how does, or what motors and servos turn each thing to lock everything. So for the diffs, I'm gonna put it into the middle one where only the front diff is locked. That one turns. Then I'm gonna put it into where all the diffs are locked. And that one turns. Then back to the center one. Then back to unlocked. So those are the mo those are the servos for the diffs and all that stuff. And then this one, I don't know if you can see it, but that's for the high range and low range. So right now my car is in high range. I want to switch it to low range. Turns that way. Then back to high range. Turns that way. And then this this one over here. Hold on. Yeah, that one right there. That is the steering servo. I don't know if you can see through there. It's not a really good angle. But it basically turns the horn, and then that horn is the one that's turning the things in the front. So I'll explain that some more. So, where is it now? Where? There. You can just see 
It's over here somewhere if I can find it. Where is it now? Ish. Ah, there, I think I found it. Hold on, let's see now if this will work. So it is that one over there, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's how that one works. Cool. That's just my explanation.